Welcome to BrainProfiler.com, the clinical brain profiling software that allows clinicians to work seamlessly with their patients. This is an instructional video that will show you how to register, create a patient list, and log your assessment, patient progress, and prescribed medication in one place using the Brain Profiler interactive web platform. All information provided by Brain Profiler is of a general nature and is provided for educational purposes only. No information is to be taken as medical advice pertaining to any specific health or medical condition. Brain Profiler may be used as a decision support platform and does not modify clinical medical legal responsibilities. First, click on the register button to fill in your personal details and create your password. Once registered, you may log in. When logged in, you will land on the patient list page. Click on the Add Patient button to enter the patient demographics. In order to retain medical confidentiality, create a code for each patient instead of entering identifying information. For example, you may choose to use the patient's initials along with a serial number. Keep records of your patient codes in your clinic with all other confidential information. Enter the patient's mobile number and create a password for him or her. This password will allow access to the Brain Profiler app for patients, which is integrated with the clinician's platform. Click on the Edit button in the Patient List page. Next, click on the New Assessment tab to create a patient report. Here, you can enter your clinical assessment after every meeting with your patient. The graph outlines the spectrum of psychiatric phenomenology. Use the cursors at the bottom of the page to rate the psychiatric phenomenology of the patient. For example, if your patient is mildly depressed, move the cursor to mild on the mania depression scale. The graph above changes accordingly and reflects your clinical assessment. For example, if the patient is also mildly anxious, move the cursor on the anxiety scale to mild. The new information will register on the graph above instantly. Clicking on any of the Phenomenology Scale buttons will open a new pop-up tab detailing the phenomenology indicators and severity from mild to marked. Press on any of the drop-down menu options to view a detailed psychiatric phenomenology based on consensual validate rating scales, such as Hamilton and PANS. Once you have finished entering your clinical assessment, press on the Next button at the top right-hand side of the page. A report window will open. Notice that the definitions on the x-axis are different. Brain Profiler translates the rated psychiatric phenomenology into brain disturbance, thus creating a brain profile. The patient's clinical condition is now redefined in terms of brain neuronal network disturbances. For example, anxiety is related to disturbance of constraint frustrations between networks in the brain. Depression is related to disturbance of plasticity, atrophy, and deoptimization. Below the brain profile graph, you will find three drop down tabs. Press the computational psychiatry plasticity diagnosis to read the related brain network diagnosis. The explanation tab below contains detailed information about the patient's brain disturbance. Click on PubMed Referral to Treatment Search to find published papers regarding the brain disturbance specific to your patient's condition. Finally, save the brain profile assessment graph. Continue to the History tab to view all your previous assessments of the patient on one graph. This is an overview of the patient's condition over time. You can view the patient's phenomenology on specific days by placing the cursor on the graph. Each criterion is marked numerically from 0 to 3. 1 represents mild, 2 represents moderate, and 3 represents marked. This allows you to track the patient's progress, including response to medication and other interventions. You may choose to view the history of only one phenomenology at a time by hovering over the buttons below the graph. For example, to see the depression symptoms alone, hover over depression. To see the history of anxiety symptoms, hover over anxiety. 
Using the Brain Profiler smartphone app mentioned earlier, the patient is able to enter a self-assessment based on his or her personal symptomatic experiences. The patient's self-assessment report will appear juxtaposed on the same graph, keeping you informed about your patient's experience and condition in between meetings. You will be able to see correlations between your assessment and that of the patient's and efficiently address any discrepancies. At any point, you may view the most recent brain profile report by clicking on the last profile tab. In the medication list tab, you can prescribe new medications for your patient and view a list of previously prescribed medications. To prescribe a new medication, click on add patient medication. Scroll or type in the medication name to select a medication from the drop-down list. Enter dosage and frequency. The prescription history will also appear on the history graph, allowing for easy assessment of medication response. Thank you for watching this video and we hope you enjoy using brainprofiler.com.